Good afternoon, uh, Pete from A Bit Twisted. So today I went out, picked me up another wheel. This is now my number three Ashford wheel. So I have two Ashford Traditionals and one Ashford Elizabeth. Um, just picked it up today. It's very similar design to this wheel here. It is a double drive. This one happens to be a combo, so I can do either or, either single drive or whatever. Um, picked it up, and I mean, this thing is in like brand new condition. Uh, picked this up for 120 bucks today. Um, everything works. The little plastic piece on the footman was broken, um, so I put a piece of cloth, heavy cloth, in its place for the moment. Um, and I have some leather I'm going to put in and, uh, and fix it right with a, with a piece of leather and not the plastic. I don't like the plastic. Um, otherwise, it's pretty good. I did a little bit of spinning on it at home before I brought it over here. I just got over here to the studio and, um, and so I can get started with this. Um, so if I'm going to teach, I'm going to need a few wheels in case people don't have a wheel to use. And so now I have four good wheels that we can use. Um, all will spin the flax just fine. If you want to learn wool, that's fine too. And um, so we're going to get cracking on this. I also got a big, big, huge piece of roving um, that came with it. I actually have some more. Um, this was uh, said eleven ninety-five a pound at seventy-five cents an ounce, and this all came along with it. This is a lot of wool here. Uh, it's fairly dense. Um, so if I use any of it, um, then I'm going to have to pre-draft, make it a little bit longer, make it a little easier to spin with. All that good stuff. So it looks like my neighbor Closed down shop for the day, so nice, nice little piece of roving. So we'll start with that. I'm going to get some oil and oil this real quick because I haven't oiled it yet. to tighten these down just a little bit. These are still a little bit loose, but a little oil there, a little oil there. A little tiny bit of oil there. down on the main drive axle and that's it just a little bit a little bit goes a long ways so we're gonna I'm gonna get my gauge I can flip my gauge yarn gauge off and plunk it on this one real quick real easy is a single treadle. I do not have my linen um, tighten this little sucker up here. I'm going to put a linen drive band on this thing because um, I like my linen drive bands. And then we'll 
pull the hook. Kind of start in the middle of my bobbin, flip it around. Um, so anybody's looking for spinning wheels, um, go on your local Facebook marketplace and um, and hunt. Don't need to just grab, go and grab the first. wheel that you see, um, hunt around, shop around, um, you can find deals, and that's where I found, that's where I found this one, and um, that's where I found the last two wheels, and they're fine, these, these are fine wheels, um, excellent for learning, um, this one's more just a tradition, or, or a, an old look. I think that's why they call it the Elizabeth, Elizabethan style, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so everything's a little bit tight yet. I don't, I don't want to back, I want to back off on this a little bit. Just wanting to kind of pull. Um, Had to do had to do a video not sure why it wants to pull out of my hand here oh I know, I think I know why. Controlling it that well. And since I'm a lace weight size spinner, I'm right in the lace weight. range there so I can make a pretty long piece of fabric or thread <laughs> excuse me thinking of fabric already um, nice big long piece of thread with a fairly small piece of uh, roving here Now, if I spin up a few bobbins of this stuff, I can use it to weave what I have over here on the limb. The white with a white uh, warp and a gray weft. That would look pretty nice, I think. why I like the woolly winder. Um, then I'm going to test my thread so it's nice. It's pretty good. So spinning you want to have kind of a light touch. You don't want to be yanking, trying to take it away from you. 
If it's taking it away from you, it's not set correctly. Whether it's a single dry, single scotch tension, Irish tension, or double drive. You don't want it yanking it out of your hand. You still want to have some control of this, but you don't want to be really aggressive handling this stuff. It's just lightweight, enough to hold it, so it doesn't get away from you, but not so tight that you're going to, not like a gorilla. And that's what I did. I was like a big gorilla trying to control this stuff and it just doesn't work too well being a gorilla. And so I know uptake also changes when you change the uh, diameter of your whirls too. And, uh, and I can put the bigger whirl that I have on this now. So since I have a lot of, since I'm a, an Ashford person now, I guess. I guess I could uh, advertise for them. Um, they're good wheels. I bought this one myself. And I hunt for them. Keep my eye out for them. And uh, if I run across stuff, I can give people good deals too. You know, I, I don't mind. Um, but I'm not going to ship. I'm only doing local stuff because shipping is just outrageously expensive. I'll let the big manufacturers do the shipping. I'm not going to do that. The wheel is quiet. This is a much quieter wheel than the other two wheels I have. Not sure if I'm going to leave this wheel here or if I'm going to take it home. Keep it, keep it at home with me in case, and, and just bring it when I need it. This way I can do some spinning at home too, because I'm not here all the time. Yet, anyway. Most of my time here is after hours and most people are gone home. If you're up for Zoom, I can do Zoom classes anytime. I can do evening Zoom classes, um, help you out. If you're at all interested, let me know. Um, be happy to do that. Um, See how well that spins. Pretty, pretty nice. Makes a nice fluffy, nice, nice yarn. And then just hang it. And that's it. You know, nice, it's a nice clean wheel. Um, was well cared for. Um, the other bobbins that I have are it's, uh, three bobbins, and the, and the lazy cake came with it as well. Um, the other bobbins are. 
for the uh, Scott tension and not not for the uh, double drive. So um, now I have a whole bunch of bobbins, uh, Ashford bobbins. So I can mix and match. I can run Scotch tension. I have no issues doing Scotch tension. Except I did learn on a double drive, and I like the double drive. And um, but this particular wheel here, uh, maple, I believe this is maple, um, looks really nice. Um, I believe this is a fairly new wheel. I don't believe that this is a very old wheel at all. Um, there doesn't just doesn't look like there's any aging on this wheel. It's just that nice. Everything's nice and tight. Everything looks really good. Um, and how they how they made the wheel in in pieces. Instead of just a big single piece. Um, pretty nice. So there you have it. Keep a lookout. Keep a lookout for these spinning wheels because they are out there. People are, they just don't, they're not doing anything with them. And they sell them. And um, offer them a price. Don't, uh, don't take the first price, you know, if, if it's 150 bucks, offer them 125 bucks or offer them 120 bucks. Um, can't hurt. And a lot of times they will take it. As long as you're not crazy, like they want 150 bucks and you tell them you'll give them 25, then they're just gonna tell you to go, go where you know where. Um, but reasonable, you know, hell, they're, original asking price was reasonable. Um, any, any smart person would have bought it, but nobody did. And so I offered a little bit less and they sold it. So that's how it goes. That's just how it goes. So let's see about getting some more um, flax spun. So this was just kind of a sample here of the wool. Um, but my, my main focus is flax. So I'm going to leave that here. And we'll talk to you all later.